So I don't think necessarily going after the big companies, but we do know that uh, there are certain companies that have made, um, you know, above um, above profits, above what you'd expect in terms of profits during the pandemic. Um, and therefore, I think there is a case for thinking back um, and thinking about a retrospective windfall tax to pay for some of this. Um, but I think there's a kind of bigger piece, which is we are going to have to think about ways in which we uh, consolidate the books, not now, because I think the priority has to be to get the economy working and to recover. But it is absolutely critical that we do that in the most progressive way. And so, you know, I think it's actually a good thing that the government has been thinking about wealth taxes and other taxes so that we can better balance the tax burden between those that can pay more and those that can't. And that will have to be part of the mix. But, you know, there are a lot of companies that are getting away with not paying their fair share. And it's wrong. And when we need everyone to pull their belt in order to uh, deal with both, uh, you know, the, the amount that we've had to spend through the pandemic, but critically, the amount that I hope we continue spending after the pandemic to ensure that, you know, to quote the government's word, we build back better. We will need to think about, you know, how everyone pays their fair share in that.